Hello grade 9. This is Mrs. Venti. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to start looking at how to multiply binomials. We are using the Mind Action Series textbook. This is grade 9 and we are going to do exercise 1 found on page 96. Now, in this video, which is part 1, of the exercise, we are going to learn how to do the FOIL method. I'm not going to answer all of the questions. I am only going to do every third one. So question 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. That's a total of six questions for this video. Let's get started. Question 3 says, um, A plus 4 times A plus 6. What we have is known as a binomial. We have got two binomials in brackets. Uh, binomial by means two. So each bracket has got two terms inside of them. And we're multiplying a binomial by a binomial. So we're multiplying two terms times two terms. Each term is separated by the plus sign. So how do we do this? As I said, we are going to learn how to use the FOIL method. Now F in FOIL stands for first. And the first means we are going to take the first term in each bracket and multiply it with each other. In bracket one, the first term is A. So I write that A there. And I'm going to multiply it with the first term in the second bracket, which is also A. So A times A gives me A squared. The O in FOIL stands for outer. Now in these two brackets, I have got an outer side. My outer side is going to be on the outside here and on the outside there. So the term that is closest to the outside in the first bracket is going to be A. So I multiply A with the term that is closest to the outside on the second bracket, which is 6. So A times 6 gives me 6A. The I in FOIL stands for inner. Now when I talk about inner, I mean on the inside. So on the inside, if that is the inner section of the brackets, then the term that is closest to inner in the first bracket is the number 4. And inner on the second bracket is the letter A. 4 times A is 4A. And L in FOIL stands for last. So if in my first bracket I have the first term, and then the second term in the first bracket is the last term. The last term in the first bracket is 4, and the last term in the second bracket is 6. 4 times 6 is 24. So now that I have done FOIL, I can actually answer the question. The question says, what is A plus 4 times A plus 6? And the answer is going to be A squared. Now, just by the by, these two are like terms. I can say 6A plus 4A, that gives me 10A. Um, let me write it separately. So I'm going to say a squared plus 6a plus 4a plus 24. But because I have these two terms as like terms, I can actually remove them. And my answer then becomes a squared plus 10a. Now, the only reason why I removed it is because I don't have space. But the answer to our question is a squared plus 10a plus 24. And the way we got it was we did FOIL. First times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, last times last. Question 6. P minus 7 multiplied by P plus 4. F stands for first. The first term in the first bracket is P. The first term in the second bracket is P. P times P gives me P squared. So P squared is the first term in my answer. Outer 
is on this side. So the outer one in the first bracket is P and the outer on the second bracket is 4. That gives me 4P. Positive 4P. Inner is over here. So inner on the first bracket is negative 7. Please remember the minus sign. Multiplying it with the inner over here, which is P. Minus times plus is minus 7P. So I write minus 7P at the bottom. And last on the first bracket is minus 7. Last on the second bracket is positive 4. And that becomes minus 7 times 4 is minus 28. So again, you will notice that these two are like terms, or you can see it over there, like terms. So if I add them up, I say 4P minus 7P gives me minus 3P. So my final answer is going to be P squared minus 3P minus 28. Question 9, 4W plus 1 minus 2w, 4w plus 1 times 2w minus 3. First, we have 4w multiplied by 2w. 4 times 2 is 8w squared. So that becomes 8w squared. And I'm going to write it a second time. Then I have outer. On the outer side, I have 4w multiplied by, remember the minus, minus 3. So plus times minus is minus, 4 times 3 is 12w. Then I have inner, let me add my 12, negative 12w there. My inner is going to be 1 multiplied by 2w. So I have 2w there plus 2w. And last I have 1 multiplied by negative 3. That gives me negative 3. So my answer is 8w squared minus 12w plus 2w minus 3. These two are like terms. Minus 12 plus 2 is minus 10w. These are the same two. That gives me the same answer. And I have minus 3. So that is my final answer. Question 12. x plus 2y multiplied by x plus 3y. First, we have x and x gives me x squared. Outer, I have x and 3y. x times 3y gives me 3xy. Inner, I have 2y and x. 2y times x gives me 2xy. And last, I have 2y and 3y. 2y times 3y gives me 2 times 3 is 6y squared. Now let's rewrite these at the bottom as an equation. Plus 2xy plus 6y squared. Now I know that these are like terms and I can add them. So 3 plus 2 gives me 5xy. So my proper equation is x squared plus 5xy plus 6y squared. And that's my final answer. Question 15. Now, what's different in question 15 from everything we've done before is that in the previous questions, the variable has always been the first term. Now the p's are the second term in each bracket. So instead of starting with 2p, we're ending with 2p. Instead of starting with minus 4p, we're ending with minus 4p. But other than that, the steps are exactly the same. 
we start with first, 6 and 3, 6 times 3 equals 18. Then we have outer, 6 and minus 4, 6 times minus 4, oops, I forgot the P, 6 times minus 4P, plus times minus is minus, 6 times 4 is 24. Inner, we have 2P and 3, so 2P multiplied by 3 gives me 2 times 3 is 6P. And last, we've got 2P and minus 4P. 2P times minus 4P. And that gives me minus 8P squared. So now I would write my answer out. Now, the conventional way of writing an equation like this is to write it with the highest power first. Before I do that, I'm going to write my answer as I have it. So I have 18 minus 24P which you shouldn't forget the p, plus 6p minus 8p squared. If we simplify this, we would take those together, and we will say minus 24 is equal to minus 18p. So my answer is going to be 18 minus 18p minus 8p squared. That's my final answer. Last question for this video, a squared minus 2b, a, a cubed, last question for this video, a cubed minus 2b, a cubed plus 3b. First, a cubed and a cubed, so a cubed multiplied by a cubed. Now you remember when we multiply the same base, we add the exponents, this is a3 plus 3. So that is a6. Then outer, we have a cubed times 3b, 3a cubed b. For inner, I have minus 2b multiplied by a cubed. That gives me minus 2a cubed b. And for last, I have minus 2b multiplied by 3b and that gives me minus 6a no it's just b's b squared so at the bottom i have plus 3a cubed b minus 2a cubed b minus 6b squared and then i add my like terms so these are alike 3 minus 2 is plus 1a cubed b. So my final answer is a6 plus 1a cubed b minus 6b squared. And that's it. You now know how to do the FOIL method. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, shout out and I will answer you as best I can. Thank you. Bye-bye.